Hi and welcome back to Hello Witchy Life Effect Restoration Project with the UK and what we're going to be doing now after I've cut all my wood is all in the hull. Um, we looked at the different colours of the wood and what we're going to do we're going to put the fourth coat of oil on the areas only that in all this here we're going to be putting oil on that so we can try and make it the same colour as this. You can see it's, we've got a bit of a shine going on now and the, the, the patina is coming back on there but we've got to do all this here these bits and bobs yeah as you can say it needs sorting out but i'm all in it first before but then we can sort the wood out after so i've got my oil and what i've got here i've got linseed oil mixed with turpentine on a two to one ratio and i have a stiff brush so you don't really want to floppy one because you want to really uh, scrub the linseed oil in. So let's get to it, shall we? But before you watch me do this, we've got a couple of little videos of uh, what I've been doing, what I've been up to prior to cutting the wood, which I didn't really get out. We've got the um, metal doofy doofies will go along the boat. They need, they've been sorted out. Uh, let's go now over to Mark underneath the boat and see how he's been taking the wood off. I'm actually up here. <laughs> Don't say that. pounds. <laughs> Some of your favorite products now have even lower prices. Some say this place can be found at the end of the rainbow. Garden peas, potato waffles, good fellas pizzas, plus many more. That's more easy peasy tea sorted. Hi, this is the shop at Morrison's. Majority of stores online subject to availability. Select clients and tools to be available. Customer service matters. Optimus Energy, recommended by which? Seven years running. Octopus Energy, outstanding customer service at fair prices. <laughs> What's news? Well, we'll tell you in a sec. You know my friend from work, Vera. He's <laughs> Thank you. 
again updating the tunnels. A lot harder than I thought. Let's take a look. That's so far, I think a day of M2 or 3. So I hope you like Mark. <laughs> so I hope you like watching Mark take the inner planks off, Helen. We'll just slip over now to have a look at the finished metal pieces. Hi, welcome back to Helen Witchy Life Back Restoration Project. Got that wrong. Take two. Hi, welcome back to the Highland White <laughs> Three <laughs> Four Hi, welcome back to the Helen Witchley Lifeback Restoration Project coming from South Derbyshire, UK As you can see, we have green fields behind us So what I'm doing, um, I've come back for Easter It's my birthday on Sunday, so the chimps have organised a birthday party So there's no point me been at home doing nothing. So what I'm going to do, we've taken the metal stanchions out, the metal supports underneath the stern deck area um, to replace all bits. Sand them all down and paint them and repair, there's some repairs needed. So I put a time last video on and uh, let's get to it and uh, hope you like it.
We're back out of the wall from the rain, it was raining inside, so in the meantime, um, I've checked all the pieces of metal. Um, and I've noticed some wells had cracked. Um, so I've gone over and re-welded on them. There's a bit of corrosion here. So what I'm going to do now... Uh, you can see it there. Okay. Now that's in the... In the so we need to repair that there. Right. There's a few more pieces on this piece. Uh, so there's one there. I've welded that. One there. I don't know if that was a piece. Ah, there it is again. Yeah, so that, that piece... We've got a piece here to do, and so I'm sure there's a piece up here that I might want to tend into. So that I've folded up that side, and then we're ready for a primer. So now I'm going to uh, attempt to weld up <laughs> that this here. First piece, but we need to get done.
now we've done the grinding up and nuts and bolts. Time to paint. See how I'm using a primer first. Big primer. So this primer is a rust killer as well, the rust treatment. And we're putting that on before we put the top coat on, just to make sure. Paint, paint, painty. At least for 10 years. <laughs> So here's the metal pieces that you uh, just seen me doing in the workshop. They're all nice now, I've been painted four coats of paint, two under coat, two top coat. So let's get to it, shall we? I have got well it well, I've got my linseed oil and turps mixture. I keep chopping my turps. So what we're going to do, you see it's a nice hard br a brush. Get in and scrub it until it dries out. It's starting to look the same colour, isn't it? Then? You know, so I haven't put any more on my brush. Just keeping it rubbing it in. A bit knitting. You see, it's quite a tedious process. As you can see, it's probably a time-consuming process. But to protect 
protect the wood and to nourish it, this is the only really procedure that you can do for wood. Um, any other technique, it's been, it's been proven and tried and tested, does not work. So as you probably hear me keep going on about, we're using traditional wood building materials and traditional wood ship building techniques. Um, we use an oil based with turps to take it into the wood, let it soak in. So we're using this as an actual water repellent and a nourisher for the wood to keep the, the wood to its strength and suppleness. Because wood flexes, when we go over the sea, um, the, wood, the wood moves, it twists. Um, so we have to have a product that would actually move, twist and flex with the, with the boat. So as you can see now, the colour is coming back to it and we want to keep that colour of the mahogany. So look at that now. I just hope that will stay. Uh, it's the last coat of wall I've got to do. So this is the fourth coat. So that's looking quite nice there. In it. Oh, see, you've got to press on quite hard to scrub the oil into the hull. It's not a case of paint, paint, paint and slap it on um, because it wouldn't dry. It would create a film. It won't be good. Hold on. So what I'll do now, we'll, uh, I'll put it on the, the camera looking that way and we'll do a bit of a time lapse so you see me all in the hall. But I think you guys get the gist of it now. It's not a fast process, it takes a long time. Oh, it knackers you out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what we do. We're not using any of the uh, new products on the market. Traditional working skills and materials, that's what we're doing. So uh, let's get on it.
Well, I hope you like those videos, a bit of a mix match of what we've got to talk to the last couple of days. We've done the whole oiling of the hull, it's looking really nice. Let that dry in, so hopefully now that's that's the last of the oiling done. Hope that video, Mark's still banging away down there, taking planks out. I'm gonna get that sorted. So yeah, if you like the content, you know what to do, click on the subscribe button, click on the notifications, give us a huge thumbs up, because it really helps the channel. And I really hope you like the content, and tomorrow we'll hopefully be putting wood on the boat. Well, hey. So yeah, stay tuned, ready for the morning walk around in the morning. I'll see you later. Take care, bye.